So let me just show you how to create a project Libre file. And I have here an example of a BERT exercise. So I'm going to use that one to compute for the Gantt and at the same time the critical path. So I have here an open project software that's already open. I just want to click new and then we'll type in the project name. So name it as test one. And you can type in your manager's name. If you don't specify a start date, uh, the default date is the day that you create the file. Okay, so click OK. And then you will have the interface now ready to accept your instructions. Okay, so we want to enter uh, the first column, which is activity A down to G. That goes under name. So we'll encode it as A, C, B, E, F, G. Okay, so for now, we don't need the start dates and the end dates because those are going to be automatically assigned and computed for by the, by the software. So let me just hide this. So I'll click right and then I'll hide start and then I'll click right also to hide the finish column. So I'm now left with predecessors and then at the same time I'm left with time estimates. So the time column now goes into the duration and so um, I can just write that down. The default is in days. So that's four seven, eight, six, nine, eleven, and eight. All right, so we also notice that line six, which is activity F, is also turning red at this point. So assuming that they all begin on the same day, the longest line, or the longest, the activity with the longest duration always gets identified as the critical path. No? So that's the longest. Uh, the critical path means that uh, that's the activity that needs to get finished on time so that the project stays on track or finishes on time. So the rest of the activities still have what you call allowances. No? In project management, they call that slack. Okay, so we now encode the predecessor. And so predecessors uh, actually are activities that need to finish before the next activity can begin. And so you notice that predecessor of the predecessors for the activities are on the right side. So what does it say? Activity A, the predecessor is none, so you can just leave that blank. And then activity B, the predecessor is A. But uh, in the case of Project Libre, you will have to encode it as line numbers. So uh, since the predecessor for B is A, you enter line 1. And then for C, D, and E, uh, the predecessor is B. So that's line 2. So that's 2. And then the predecessor for F is C, D, and E. So you notice C, D, and E would be 3, 4, and 5. All right, so that's 3 semicolon 4, semicolon 5. I think in MS Project, that's 3, comma 4, comma 5. And then press Enter. All right. And then for item for activity G, the predecessor is F. And so F is line 6. So we enter that. Right, so we're done with 
entering the exercise. So we now have, uh, we now have the Gantt chart. So the red ones are the critical path. And then you can also click network. And given this, uh, all right. So your critical path would be A, B, E, F, G, okay? So that's how to create the Gantt and the project network using Project Libre.